Hello and welcome to Neutrino Channel. In this episode, we look at another strategically important IRGC missile and production site in the heart of Iran. A few kilometers from the famous Fordo Uranium Enrichment Facility, near the city of Qam, Iran, a huge missile city appears in full splendor. Under a mountain about 300 meters high, two hardened and widened entrances can be seen. These extensive tunnels could easily be a kilometer long and most likely have complex internal structures as shown in other unveiled missile cities. One can easily imagine the sea of fire that lies at the heart of this mountain. Many missile bunkers can also be seen around the mountain range. In a certain part of the area, a long strip of missile bunkers can be seen. A few hundred meters away from this place, countless missile bunkers also attract the attention of curious eyes. The white dots on the aerial photographs are the hardened bunkers. This heavily militarized area is literally completely covered by such white dots. In other words, from this missile hotspot, Tel Aviv can be directly hit by solid fuel castle breaker missiles in a series of very heavy and intense missile waves. Therefore, it is likely that many castle breaker missiles are deposited in this location. High voltage power lines required to operate this missile site and another adjacent missile production facility, as well as the Fordo enrichment plant, and a nearby airport can also be seen. The presence of an airport in the immediate vicinity of the missile storage facility once again underscores the importance of this strictly protected area. Just a few hundred meters from this missile city, under a mountain, is one of the largest underground complexes for research, development and production of various types of missiles and high-explosive warheads in a place named after the former Hezbollah commander. Aerial photographs of this facility show two wide entrances. The length of the tunnels can easily be several hundred meters, and they are expected to end in complex structures within the site. Outside this underground complex, a large area can be seen consisting of many small areas protected by earthen walls for the temporary storage of missiles and waste. The dimensions of this facility suggest that it is absolutely possible to produce a large number of missiles in a short time and to build up a massive stockpile of ballistic missiles. Since the short- and medium-range solid-fuel missiles of the Fadeh family do not use complex and cumbersome technologies, these missiles in particular can easily have a staggering production rate, and a significant number have already been delivered to both Syria and Hezbollah. And even older generations of missiles and rockets have been converted to precision-guided warfare, and improved short-range missile generations could also be produced and stockpiled in Syria and Lebanon under the eyes. And Guidance of the IRGC there are many such missile production sites in different cities of Iran such as Tehran, Shiraz, Dezvil, Mashhad, Isfahan and others. The number of missiles produced is so large that the IRGC has built a large number of open-air bases in the form of missile bunkers in different cities of Iran for years and is facing the problem of lack of space in the missile cities. Therefore, dozens of hardened bunkers can be seen in the vicinity of this production facility alone housing a large number of warheads, missiles, and launchers. The pace of Iranian missile production is beyond the imagination of many and will surprise many on the day of the big event. This is precisely one of the points where Iran's missile capabilities shine and stand out from other nations that either possess missile technology or are buyers of missiles like the Arab countries. The extensive construction of massive and heavily buried missile facilities missile bunkers, missile fields, missile magazines capable of firing long-range ballistic missiles at a staggering rate, as well as massive missile storage facilities and numerous solid fuel production facilities spread throughout Iran, is the ultimate proof that Iran has mastered a strategic missile attack. A type of attack that simulates a subkiloton nuclear attack, a hard and dispersed quasi-low-yield nuclear attack with no fallout at a range of at least 2,000 kilometers. This capability is unique, and probably no other country in the world is able to pursue and employ such defensive-offensive strategy on this breathtaking scale. This may be due either to the lack of missile technology 
and suitable infrastructure or the lack of need to do so because nuclear weapons are already available, or a nuclear shield is given by the USA or other nuclear weapon states. A prime example is Pakistan, which is far behind Iran in missile technology, both qualitatively and quantitatively, but has various types of nuclear weapons and has reached the strategic level without the need to massively invest in and greatly expand its missile industry. The same is true for drone technology, where Iran is one of the leading countries and can conduct both tactical and strategic drone strikes. In comparison, Pakistan is essentially a buyer of drone products from Turkey and has very weak drone capabilities at home, but Pakistan's nuclear shield, which is currently developing even at a worrying pace, for those who care, guarantees the survival of the state and a second, devastating response, if needed. However, the Iranian strategy, then, is to replace nuclear deterrence with massive conventional power by investing massive resources in its advanced missile industry, especially after it abandoned its active nuclear weapons program in the 2000s, at least it seems so, although there is clear evidence that the Iranians are pursuing a nuclear line to this day and are in a state of so-called hot readiness, which means they are ready to build nuclear weapons at a moment's notice. Yet to date, Iran has not built a nuclear weapon. The strategic missile attack is a type of strategy that can be easily deployed and is extremely hard on the recipient country. However, confronting a nuclear weapon state like Israel or the U.S. through this strategy is highly risky and fateful. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.